So again, it's uh, me, I'm here, Jersey Fest 2023, probably about 45 minutes before the show ends for Saturday. So I actually brought like some models entered in the contest and didn't realize they're ju doing the judging tonight. So guess where I'll be tomorrow morning, early afternoon. So this is a, a local guy, tool guy. I'm not sure if that's a specific name. He's from somewhere in Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh. I think he is. But he was here at previous Jersey Fresh shows and it's cool. I kind of complimented him because his setup actually adds a whole lot. Cool. It transforms the whole lobby into a tool, tool store. Mm-hmm. There's my two uh, co-patriots, Ray and Andrew. Yeah. That's one. So let's head into the vendor room. See how much stuff I could get done before my battery runs out. So this is the vending room. We scan as usual. We do a, a, a slow scan. Now Jersey Fest tends to be kind of heavy into the figures. Statues, figures, garage kits. They do have some coverage of the vehicles, but it tends to be a little bit heavier for the, um, excuse me. Hey, how you doing? Heavier into the figures. There are actually some common vendors here. Like this guy, Fade the Black, he was at Wonderfest this year. So the Kaiju Modeler was at Wonderfest this year. King's Resin. A bunch of vintage styrene plastic. Checking out those Babylon Five Star Furies. Like I need any more Star Furies. But I guess the saying is you can never have enough Star Furies. So the price kind of hefty. I think the going price is like eighty dollars each. It's smooth on, folks. Hi, how you doing? Actually, so Magic Sculpt as well. They just had a, pro, uh, a, a seminar, Magic Sculpt. I've been traditionally used AVs, AVs. I'm not sure if it's AVs or AVs, but I think I'm going to pick up some of this because it hardens. It's a little bit harder than AVs. <laughs> These are kind of cool looking. We got mini helmets. I'm seeing Hawkman, I'm seeing Rocketeer, 
Iron Man, Venom, Big Venom, Magneto. This is cool. This is pretty impressive. He's disgusting. I guess he's supposed to be disgusting. This is very, very impressive. These are one-to-one -one scale of peers. This guy's huge. He's probably about three feet from horn to horn tip. Thundercats. Thundercats, so... Attention vendors. The show is closing in a half an hour. Uh-oh. However, after the show closes, if you would like to come in the hallway for a group photo, we're going to take a nice picture of everybody This together. is nice. If you don't want to come, I don't care. If you want to come, we'll be outside about 5 o'clock. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in a half shell. Come on, say it. Turtle power. I see Lou Ferrigna Hulk. as well. X-Men busts. Nice features. Business card or a name? What's the name of your company? Oh, uh, Skizzy Tron. Well, let me see if I have a piece of paper. Here's the one. 
I threw it out. Okay, don't Skizzy worry. Skizzy Tron. Skizzy Tron. And I think that oh, bad egg was not that. Okay. Batman was the big one. Remember Goldar? The Space Giants? Channel 17. There you go. Yeah. I remember that. 56, too. Right, was it 56? TV 29. Yeah, TF 29. There you go. Some nice uh, vintage. Space Giants. Yeah. that I have personally a show like this is if I look close enough invariably I find something you know that I wouldn't mind to have like this would be cool and this is with the cars from Mad Max this also would be cool it's like from Blade Runner It's cute. That's a cool Batman poster. Candyman. Hey, how are you doing today? How are you? Very well, thanks. Another vintage toy vendor. She's dealing with plastic.
You can see I'm running around in circles now. Smooth on. He might be new. Smooth on is having issues of focusing. Hmm. How you doing? Hi, good. So Smooth on owns Shabbat now. I'm sorry? Smooth on owns Shabbat now, so we brought the clays to be able to show people different materials they can sculpt with. So that's what's going on. I'm videotaping. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's great. Good advertiser, right? Yeah, absolutely. When did the purchase go through? Um, it's been in the last two years. Okay. So we've on acquired Shabbat, and we've released new materials in that time. Cool. So Shabbat's been around a while. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But um, in terms of how the clays work, they don't dry out. So you can use them for mold making, or you can use them to sculpt. Cool. And that's where we have some warmed up, and we have some new ones, and some examples of different textures. Like these came out of molds, and this one's very glossy, and this one has a wood grain because the molds, the silicone molds they came out of had those oh, textures. Okay. Wow. Yeah, cool. Where this is a snake skin. And yeah, yeah. So there's, a, you can either cast it, and it gives you like a template you can sculpt mm -hmm. on top of, mm -hmm. or you can use it to make a new mold, or you can start from scratch, build on top of an armature, yep. and then keep going. So yeah, cool. it's just a lot of different options. Thank you. You're welcome. I was gonna say, Okay, thanks. You gotta love the horror stuff. Introduce yourself. I'm videotaping. John Diaz, Resident Reality. What's going on? <laughs> Live at Jersey Fest. Come buy something from you. Yes. What what new stuff did you have? Were Gigantic you... Kong right there. Okay. When are you going to do another comic book? You know I'm into comic book stuff, right? Yeah. Comic yeah. book characters. I, 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 uh... I got everything else that you've pretty much done. I will show you a picture of what I have next. I'll be ready next week. I was hoping to have it here. It's okay. Lilith from Marvel Comics, Marvel's Dracula. Okay. I got a picture. I'm going to show you right now. Okay. Guess I got to follow him. Oh, okay. He's one of the few people who's been doing... Um... Oh, I like that. Yeah, that is nice. It's based oh. on this cover. Sculpted by Eric Sosa. Cool. I have pictures of it in my phone. I can show you. Okay. Let me see. Daughter of Dracula. I, re I do remember that. Let me get to the pictures. I like the Hulk. It's in two pieces. I like his face. An abomination. He's got some heft to it. Yes, I think he's solid resin. Ah, okay. Okay, there's the, uh, that's the digital. Oh, cool. oh, that's, let me. That's how she's gonna be. Cool. Uh, I'll show you the, uh, I have some pictures of the print, and then I'll have castings uh, next week. Oh, 
That's nice. Who did the sculpting? Eric Sosa. I'm not familiar with him. I probably should be familiar with him. Yeah, Eric's, uh, he's, he does a lot of uh, okay. toy industry, statue industry. Okay. He does a lot of stuff. Cool. He's a classic uh, traditional sculptor. And now he's mostly into digital sculpting. Got gotcha. you. Uh, I cool. didn't see it last year. I'm going to catch up with you. I need to finish this before our battery runs out. No problem, man. It's nice seeing you. Yeah, definitely. Are you going to charge it? Yes and no. Uh, is it a separate charger? Or you yeah. Just no, it's a separate charger. Uh, but I have three batteries. I have one more left. Uh, this is kind of gruesome. Of course, with me saying a gruesome, I got to zero in on it, right? Dude pulling his head out of the socket. Yeah, that's kind of disgusting. Yeah. Morticia? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Reasonably be priced too. I like the venom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. I have that venom. Oh yeah. Yeah, in fact he's partially built. He's only partially built because somebody assembled them before I bought it from him. I bought the vampire snare. So a lot of stuff that they have here are basically statues. Oh, okay. But they're like high quality statues. Yeah. 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 How you doing today? I'm doing swell. The dark Vader too. Yep. Yep. Zerum. I have that too. I guess I should go over there. This was nice. Now these are pre-painted, I guess, models or statues. Painted by Rick Cattu. This was actually an interesting piece that came out. This is like um, what a Frankenstein became like a gladiator, like fighter dude. 